Hi, welcome to ITY Solutions. Today we are looking for Zabbix port monitoring. How we can monitor port in Zabbix panel? By using this, we can monitor any service. If it is a Tomcat, we can monitor port 8080. If it's a MySQL, we can monitor port 3306. If it is a website, we can monitor port 443 or 8080. Or if you are a running your applications on a, your custom port then as well you can monitor that so let's start first of all we will create an item and uh, after creating that item we will check if its values are coming in latest data or not if not then we cannot proceed further we have to check our problems and then finally we can create a trigger so let's start so first click on configuration and click on host and uh, this is Zabbix server and this is Ansible server. So I want to monitor Nginx service on my Ansible server. So I will click Ansible server here and go to items. So now I will click on create item. Just give it a name let's see monitor port 80 okay and in type select simple check and in key the keys are provided by Zavix and select net dot TCP dot service here it is select and now we have to provide few things you can see this is service option so provide service name in this case service is http and ip you can skip i will tell you why and port you can provide 80 as we are going to monitor this one so why we can skip ip because we are creating the same item in this specific server so ip is already given here okay and proceed further i don't want to store history as long as just give it seven and uh, the last thing you need to change is show value click on it and select service state you're done with creating item just click on add button and you are done and uh, the next step is check latest data values under monitoring tab okay let's go for this you need to go to zabbix monitoring tab latest data okay and uh, filter let me remove everything now just write port filter okay you can see that you are able to get information here here you will get to know about your service is up or down so right now your service is up and uh, let me show you again one thing by opening a duplicate tab configuration host item okay here is our item what we are doing we are monitoring port 80 of IP this if you are using or if you want to monitor your MySQL you can use 3306 port here if you want to monitor Tomcat you can use 8080 port if your Tomcat is not running on 8080 or it is running on 9045 you can use it here so whatever port you are you want to monitor you can provide it here okay and uh, i'm running a, just a simple web page on this ip 13233144127 so let's check it here hi welcome to learn java export monitoring so this page is running so we are monitoring the same here okay so let's cancel it because we don't made any changes here and uh, in this page 
we are getting data we will get data every 30 seconds because this is mentioned in the item okay you can see that uh, after every 30 second it will go for a check and update the values here okay so what is our third step is to create a trigger so don't make it a delay let's go to configuration host and civil server triggers just create a trigger uh, give it a name like unable to connect to port 80 and what is this host dot name uh, it's a you can say that macros uh, which will automatically pick name of this host on which host you are going to create trigger so this is good up and uh, expression you can add the same item you just created in step one so just search for that port yeah here it is just select it and click on insert okay just give it a priority and add okay so right now you can see in monitoring tab there will be always value one uh, this value will change to zero whenever it will change to zero your trigger will be raised you can check it here triggers and you yeah this is the name if is equal to zero then trigger will be generated so yes right now it is one so no trigger will be generated so just let me click one more duplicate tab go to home and there is no results okay so our site is running well and fine so let's kill the application nginx kill hyphen 9 and give the pid okay just to check again okay nginx is not working right now go back to the browser check okay it's not running so just go back here you can see that it's saying down and the value is zero so in our trigger we added that if it is zero then raise a alert so on dashboard you can see that there is an alert unable to connect port 80 on ansible server ubuntu so you can check that this is picked by host dot name okay so like this you can monitor any pod you want and uh, you can monitor mysql open uh, tomcat any service which requires a port uh, to, to resolve it so whenever you get uh, this kind of message just go and check your browser is it running or not not then go to your server log into your server and just start your application we started nginx go back to the browser check it's working okay fine go back to the latest data tab check okay now it's again changed to one and now go back to the main dashboard uh, you don't need to refresh it again again it will automatically refresh it after every one minute so for this video i'm just doing it for manually okay so your data is now gone alert is now gone okay thanks uh, for watching the video and uh, if it was helpful please share with your friends see you in the next video thank you